welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming to watch my first What I Wore in a Week video on my new series. If you're not sure what I'm going on about, head over and watch the intro video first. I'll put the link below. But basically it's What I Wore in a Week video with a slight difference because I'm talking about like confidence through fashion and little tips to make you feel better. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Cara. I'm 37 and I'm mum to three. I am a working mum but I also blog and everything part-time and have done for nearly 12 years now. I'm plus size, 22 to 24 UK size, so not a small lady, but I love fashion and I don't think just because of my size, I shouldn't be wearing things to make me feel and look good. And that's where this series came about. I'm very excited because today I am collabing on this video with the very beautiful, very inspirational and someone I admire so much, Molly from Mother's Always Right. If you don't follow Molly, I am really shocked. If you've come over from Molly, hello and thank you so much for heading over. My video is going to be similar but slightly different. Me and Molly um, definitely follow in the same path in terms of our message. We are both about body confidence and feeling good. Now that's not to say I'm confident about my body, no way. But I do think we should all wear what we want and wear what makes us feel confident and happy about the way we look. Obviously Molly and I are very different in sizes and in styles sometimes, but I felt that if we collab together, it would give you a chance to feel inspired by two people hopefully, who, although very different, come to you with the same message, which is to bloody kick ass and feel great. And I think that's how Molly would describe what we're like as well. I have, so it's a, what I wore in a week with a slight difference this time because Molly came up with the idea of five outfits for mum style on the school run, in a sense. Because although we're both working mums, Molly at home, me in an office, we don't have to change the way, like there's a style that you can have even if you're a working mum or a stay-at-home mum, no matter what you're doing. But that is slightly different to, say, a 20-something-year-old who goes to an office and doesn't have children. Let's be honest, things change when you become a mum, and your outfits kind of change around it too. So I'm hoping that you will see the, both of our videos, so once you've watched mine, head over and watch hers, or if you've come by from hers, both of our videos will inspire you and give you tips and tricks which will help you feel more confident and to feel like you look good. Now, I will warn you, my video filming and editing is not fantastic. But as someone came to me on Instagram and said this morning, do you know what, Cara, you're here about delivering the message. So just go for it and you'll get better with time. And hopefully I will, because currently I don't even own a long mirror, which was quite a problem when I came to film this video. Hopefully I'll have space in my house for one soon. But a lot of my videos have been shot quite late in the afternoon, evening by my husband. So I apologise, he is a good Instagram husband, but he doesn't necessarily zoom in where I want to show you and the light isn't great. But I hope you'll get some ideas and just some ways to maybe feel better about yourself through fashion. Because I for certainly, for one, when I put my red lipstick on like I am today, I've had a really very emotionally draining day, but my red lipstick has made me feel that much brighter. So it works for me. I don't know if it works for everyone else, but I'm happy to hopefully help you on your journeys. So if you've got any questions or you want advice and I'm by no means an expert, please, please drop me a message in the comments below or message me on Instagram. My handle's Innocent Charms Chats. I'll leave a link below. But now I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna let you watch the five outfits. Hopefully you will find something that works for you. If you want any to ask any questions, as I said, send a comment below. Thanks for watching. Morning, it's Monday and I'm off to work today. It's a semi-casual outfit because my office is quite laid back. But I'm wearing an old outfit today. So I'm wearing this Dorothy Perkins collarless blouse, which I do actually really like because it's very light and it's a cool colour. I am wearing, these are quite new, these are Simply Be Chloe jeans. They are actually getting a little bit big for me, but Chloe jeans are probably the best fit if you, like me, are a short leg. And then I've got very old Clark's brogues on, which I love. If you're looking for brogues, I totally recommend Clark's. And then today I'm wearing my blue glasses, which are replay from Step Savers. 
Hi everyone, so here's my outfit for Tuesdays. Tuesdays is my day off work, so I got a little bit more sassy. Um, today I'm wearing a really basic outfit actually, and what I think is really important is to have a really good capsule wardrobe. I'm still working on mine, but then you can add things that come in on trend to go with it and pops of colour. So I'm actually wearing, if you look at the base of my outfit, plain black, lower dude mum jeans, which are not the most flattering on me, but they are super, super good. And then just a plain flat t-shirt, also from a Redo, that's three pounds. Big top tip, unless you are incredibly skinny, tuck in your t-shirts. Yes, I am showing a very much visible belly line, but you look slimmer. It does make you feel slimmer. And then on top, I'm wearing my favourite purchase this last four or five months, which is a shirt dress, actually. But I like to wear it like a jacket. And this is from Evans. And then I'm wearing my new... Nike mustard trainers. I just bought these. I'm not still 100% about them, but I think they give a real pop of colour to the outfit. And then just teaming it with a really old brown mat and bag from Marks and Spencers. £3 in the sale. Always pick up bags like this in the sale if you can. And then I've just got on some glasses from Twiggy at Select Specs. No Spec Savers even. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, so it's Tuesday. No, it's not. It's Wednesday. Um, it is the evening already because I did not have time to fill my outfit this morning. But this is my typical going to work, school run mum style, which our office is quite casual, so I'm very lucky. But what I do is I buy blouses that I can basically dress up with smart trousers on meeting days. So, but today I'm wearing a Dorothy Perkins blouse. I love blouses like this because if you're a bit bigger, they skim very nicely. You can lay on them with vests when it's cold and a cardigan, but in the summer they're so light you don't get hot. And then I've just got some skinny jeans on with roots from Simply B today. Big recommendation, if you buy skinny jeans, always try and go a size smaller. These were skinny, but now look, not so nice, but I'm wearing them to work because it's easy. And then I just got fans old school on today because I wanted to be comfy because it was absolutely teeming down this morning. I've got my typical winter autumn winter school run mum bag on today which is a Marks and Spencer's woolen um what do you call it? backpacks these are great for being a school mum because you can whack them on your back still got both hands for your school run and they keep a lot of crap in them and then the last thing I'm wearing today is my replay blue glasses from Select Specs I love a big frame glasses today today so I'm actually in my office got my cameraman here with me for a second because Otherwise, I'm going to get home and it's going to be pitch black because we've got a busy day. But so it's another work day for me. And as I said yesterday, I tend to wear sort of like loose blouses on my work days. I have actually put really cheeky ripped jeans on today, which I wouldn't normally wear to work. But, meh. So, top to toe, I'm going to start. And this is something I think is really important. So this head scarf. So my hair, excuse it, is in desperate need of colouring. So because it's dirty and I couldn't be arsed with it, I tend to do things like head scarves, big bows in my hair, just something to deviate from the roots. Um, this head scarf, this is really important to me. I tend to go to charity shops and look for things like accessories. I find fashion slightly harder being plus size, but this is a National Trust head scarf that I got from a charity shop about three or four years ago. Nice square one, perfect for the head, and it was 50p, so absolute bargain. I'm then wearing my Twiggy from Specsaver glasses, which have like little diamond and a mother of pearl. These are, I tend to swap up my glasses quite a lot. Then I'm wearing, as I said, peach blouse, which is from Marks and Spencers. And I just like, it's very good at skimming. You can layer it. I get hot in my office, so I'm just wearing it as is. Then skinny jeans, as I said yesterday, these ones are actually a size smaller but still haven't found that elusive pair of plus size jeans that I like. But these are okay, these are simply B. They have a frayed cuff as well as having like bits through the legs. And then I'm wearing Primani trainers, which are like Converse rip-offs. I bought these because I wanted a couple of pair of trainers to like change colours for outfits because I wear a lot of trainers. They were two pounds, which obviously is ridiculously cheap, but I will say not really worth the two pounds for me because if I've got incredibly wide feet, they do get uncomfortable if you walk a lot in them, but I've been in the office today. Hi, so it is Friday, it's already getting dark because my cameraman's home now after 
failed attempts at trying to film it. But so I'm wearing today, I went, I've worn jeans nearly all week, so I wanted to do something a bit different today. So I went to the back of my wardrobe and found this dress that I have not worn two years now. But it's a cotton jersey pinafore dress and it's from ASOS Curve. You can get loads of these back, so I'll try and find one to link below. Underneath, I've got a top from uh, Juno Rose through ASOS, which has beautiful like copper foil detailing on it. And it's just really lightweight and lovely to wear under things like this. If you're looking for leggings and you are short, like me, I'm smaller than a petite leg. These are two at Sainsbury's and they are perfect because they do a short leg, high-waisted, because they come up to about here, leggings. So totally recommend those. Then I've got old hobnail boots on which are from Office from about seven years ago. But you can get loads of boots like this nowadays. Same glasses I had on yesterday, so Twiggy from Select Specs. And then I'm wearing a really tiny little necklace which is all three gold, a bit like a Russian wedding ring, and that is from the Hoxton store, which is a local shop to me, but I'll link them.